morning, good morning, good morning. Shout out and share. Let me know where you're logging on from. And share. Invite. Let's get this cranked up. Comcast is down. If you're in Comcast area. No internet. Just a friendly warning. Hello, Arkansas. Good morning. Hello, hello, Oklahoma. Shout out and share. Hit the share button. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader at Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida. It's not like any other church I've ever been to. Breakthrough is what we saw on Sunday. I want to deliver that same word to you through prayer today. We're going to press into that. But first, today's devotion, titled, Don't Take Offense, when people don't appreciate you. My, 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 my. Here's what I heard the Lord say. It's wrong when people don't say thank you for the gifts you pour out and the time you spend praying for them. But don't let that offend you. Don't take offense. When you give, give as unto the Lord, expecting nothing in return, not even a thank you. Father sees your heart and will repay you for the good he calls you to do. Many people in these last days are ungrateful, says God, but that's nothing new. Even in biblical times, only one of the ten lepers Jesus cleansed returned to thank him. If people didn't appreciate him, don't be surprised 
when they don't appreciate you. But I appreciate you, says the Spirit of Grace. Let that be enough from you, for you. Amen. That is good. Proverbs 19, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7. And Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Read them all. Study to show yourself approved. Today's prayer starter. Sometimes I feel as if I'm being taken for granted, but I know you see and appreciate the things I do. Remind me that I am not doing things unto men to win their approval, but unto God to please you. Let my heart be content with this goal. Amen. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory this morning for you are awesome. You are mighty. We appreciate you, God, even though so many times we don't even recognize your blessing. We're so consumed and so busy and so uh, distracted that many times we don't even discern the blessing, discern the prayer answer, discern the move of your spirit in our midst. God, help us today to be more discerning, be more mindful, be quicker to recognize, understand, and know that you are with us and you are working for us every minute of every day finding looking for ways to bring us up higher to make us more like your son we praise you and we thank you this morning we honor you with our hearts not just with our mouths today God we honor you with every fiber of our being we honor you we honor you we honor you Lord. we want to honor you in thought we want to honor you in word we want to honor you in deed God give, give Lord give us the grace to honor you in the midst of the battle, in the heat of the battle, to honor you in the heat of the battle, not when things are going well, when there's peace all around and about us, but help us to continue honoring you in wartime. Help us to continue honoring you in the midst of the tack, in the the midst of the attack, in the midst of the lack, in the midst of the breaking of our backs, in the midst of the stabbing in the back God would you help us Lord to press through in honor doing the right thing even when the wrong thing is happening to us I'm going to say that again doing the right thing even when the wrong thing is happening to us somebody needs to get that today it's a key to your breakthrough it's a key to your maturity it's a key to receiving the best the increase the healing it's a key key it's a key it's a key it's called integrity doing the right thing even when the wrong thing is happening to you doing the right thing even when nobody can see doing the right thing even when all hell is breaking loose and it's so much easier to take a shortcut it's so much easier just to just to to turn your head to turn your head the other way it's so much easier God help us be people of integrity help us not just to be people of 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 doing the right thing for a reward doing the right thing for a thank you doing the right thing so that we can earn something in your kingdom god we want to do the right thing for the right thing's sake we want to do the right thing for the sake of righteousness we want to do the right thing because you've told us to do the right thing Matthew 6 and 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness And all of these things will be added to you. His righteousness, his right way of being and doing is what the Amplified translates it as. His right way of being and doing. His right way of being and doing. His right way of being and doing. Doing what's right. Being a right kind of person. Being the person people can trust. Being the person that will pick up the slack. Being the person that will go the extra mile. Being the person that won't gossip and slander even when everybody around you at the dinner table or the lunch room or the church uh, prayer room is pressing through uh, into evil works with gossip and slander God being the right person there is so much witchcraft on this call I'm gonna have to stop and break it because there's a 24-hour break 
breakthrough word that's in my mouth there's a 24 hour breakthrough mandate that's on me today there's a 24 hour breakthrough mission that I'm carrying today I want to see some things in your life that have been plaguing you for days months and years break in the next 24 hours last year on Sunday I preached this word about the sound of now and I prophesied a 24 hour breakthrough and within 24 hours I kid you not to the moment I received three massive breakthroughs and I want to break you through today I want to build your faith up but there's so much witchcraft attacking me right now that I'm going to have to stop and break it when you hear me begin to stutter and stumble and say words backwards when I'm praying say words with the wrong syllable or leave it this is witchcraft so pray with me for the next 30 seconds as hard as you can to break the witchcraft because it's only coming against me because it's trying to keep you from your breakthrough do you understand me the reason why it's coming against me is because I'm I'm delivering a breakthrough message today I'm delivering a breakthrough prayer today and there are some things in your life that need to be broken through you've seen delay after delay after delay after delay after delay and it's time to break the delays God is wanting to break you through so in the next 30 seconds pray with me to break this witchcraft so I can press through to the other side with you and for you amen father in the name of Jesus we break this witchcraft we break distractions in the name of Jesus all of you who are on this call for nefarious reasons I bind your eyes and I bind your tongue from releasing curses against me I bind your eyes who are trying to look and see in the spirit at what belongs to another and I break the powers of your word curses and your evil decrees in the name of Jesus you will not present yourself as a stumbling block today I command your internet connection to fail that you might be off this call in the name of Jesus I break witchcraft in the name of the Lord you witches you quote unquote Christian witches get off my broadcast I command you in the name of Jesus to get off my broadcast I send confusion into your camp with my praise I praise you Lord because you are greatly to be praised I give you praise and honor I adore you because you are adoration worthy I lift up the name of Jesus and I praise that name because it's the name above all names I thank you Lord that you bring these Christian witches to salvation in the name of the Lord interrupt their plans God in the name of Jesus break their witchcraft God their potions their spells their incantations in the name of Jesus we break these things we stand against them we push back the darkness in the name of Jesus you Christian witches bow to the name of Jesus or leave my broadcast I command your internet connection to be bound in the name of the Lord through this broadcast bump them off God in the name of Jesus now that we've dealt with that let's continue our breakthrough prayer hallelujah father I thank you in the name of Jesus that you are a good good father and you have a, a good plans for us not plans for evil but plans for a future and a hope and I thank you Lord that faith is now I said faith is now now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen now faith is there is a faith that demands the reality to manifest now there's a faith that demands the blessing of God now there's a faith that wrestles with God and says I will not let go until you bless me I break the back of delay in your life in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that we know that sometimes it's patience mixed with faith that causes us to inherit the promises of God but there are some things there are some promises that are long overdue there are some blessings that that are long overdue there are some breakthroughs that have been delayed long enough and I thank you Lord there's a sound that penetrates the darkness there's a sound that breaks the miracle barrier there's a sound of faith that says now I want my blessing now I want my breakthrough now I want everything God died to give me now I want everything Jesus appropriated to me now I want to manifest the divine nature on the inside of me now I want to receive 
receive the healing that Jesus paid for on the cross by his stripes we are healed now I want to see my prodigal come home now I want to see my finances increase now I want to see that promotion that was robbed from me now I want to walk into the promises of God into the promotion of God into the elevation of God into the revelation of God now I want these things that you told me I could have had a long time ago now 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 there are some things we wait for patiently and there are other things that are long overdue I said now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus devil loose what belongs to us now loose what belongs to us now loose our money now loose our children now loose our katarava shokoto loose it now in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that we can submit ourselves to you resist the devil and he's got to flee we say devil flee now in the name of Jesus loose katarava shall we bind the strong man we bind the strong man oh somebody's going to get some spoils today we bind the strong man we bind the strong man we bind the strong man in Jesus name that strong man of oppression that strong man of depression that causes you to start off on a right path but give up before you get to the end that strong man of hopelessness that causes you not to be able to hold on to your faith until you cross the finish line that strong man of sickness that prevents you from performing and pursuing the dreams of your heart because you're not well enough to continue to persevere you wear out before you get to the end end you wear out before you get to the winner circle i break and bind the strong man of sickness in the name of jesus we bind the strong man of poverty in the name of jesus that strong man that kept your children out of college that strong man that put them into student debt for the rest of their lives that strong man that causes you to have to drive a clunky old beat up car because you can't get the credit rating to get a new vehicle that's dependable i bind the strong man of poverty in the name of jesus oh we're going after some spoils today if you'll just press with me if you'll just keep your mind right if you'll just focus a little while longer i'm telling you there's 24 hour breakthroughs god wants to bring 24 hour breakthroughs i'm telling you it's not for everybody if you're living in sin honey go ahead and hang up or just repent and get in line if you're just spending your money like it's water even though you don't make it God's not going to bring you out of debt because you're irresponsible and you've got a poor stewardship issue in your life if you're just cursing yourself and walking around talking about why you can't and why you won't and how you're not honey you need to get your mouth in line before you can get a breakthrough in your life come on now this is for people this breakthrough this decree this prophetic unction this release is for those who have been doing the right thing even when the wrong thing is happening to them if you're being persecuted well honey you're not going to get a breakthrough out of that if you're persecuting everybody else if you're gossiping about everybody else if you're slandering everybody else this isn't for you you can repent get in line and rejoin the prayer just to take a moment to yourself and get your tongue right take a moment to yourself and get your mind right take a moment to yourself and get that unbelief out of your heart repent for not believing the Lord but I'm telling you what those who are walking in honor those who are walking in integrity those who are honorable what do I mean by honorable integrity those who are trying to do the right thing you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be all perfectly sewn and tied together you don't have to be uh, without sin without mistake in other words oh if you're practicing sin you need to repent but if you've been doing the best you can and believing God and pressing in I'm telling you there's a 24-hour breakthrough that God wants to bring so father we thank you today in the name of Jesus that we don't have to continue waiting forever for something that you foreordained for us to have a year ago five years ago we don't have to watch our children suffer our children sitting in a pig pen our children wallowing around in filth of sin when your word tells us that when we raise up our child in the way they should go when they grow old they will not depart from it we thank you Lord we call the children home now in the name of 
Jesus we call the financial breakthrough in now in the name of Jesus listen if you've got now faith press with me if you don't then just pray in tongues and build yourself up in your most holy faith there are people's lives that depend on this breakthrough today some people that are listening to me are so desperate they're on the verge of giving up they're so they're so uh, scorned and spurned by the plans of the enemy working through people that they liked that they loved that they thought were going to be with them forever there are some that are just rejected they're busted they're totally disgusted they're broke and they're beaten down they need a 24-hour breakthrough so if you don't have faith for it honey just sit there and pray in the Holy Ghost until you do because God wants you to receive all of his goodness and all of his grace and all of his promises which are yes and amen but if you can believe with me I want you to begin to make some noise if you can believe with me I want you to begin to do a crazy praise to do something undignified to begin to dance and shout until you are out of breath and have to take a little sip of water I want you to press with me because we're going for it right now we're going for it do you hear me do you understand the mandate we're going for it we're going for it we're going for it the strong man has to bow in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord in the name of the Lord I thank you Lord in Jesus name I thank you Lord that you are with us you are in us if God be for us who can be against us we give you praise and honor and glory we magnify your name for you are worthy to be praised oh somebody needs to begin to shout somebody needs to begin to stir themselves up somebody needs to put your hand on your belly and say breakthrough starts right here because the breaker lives on the inside of me we thank you Lord that you are the breaker Jesus you are the breaker Jesus you are the breaker he who opens the breach goes up before them they break through and pass the gate going out by it the king passes on before them the Lord at their head father I thank you Lord that we're breaking down the gates of hell that have tried to uh, uh, prevail against our life we're breaking through the gates of hell that have held back our financial breakthrough we're breaking through the gates of hell that have kept our our healing pent up with unbelief and fear we're breaking through the gates of hell that have kept all of the blessings on the other side where we can't quite reach them we can't quite quite grasp them we get discouraged and weary and worn out trying father I thank you that you infuse us with new strength to make another push to stand another day to press for one more moment because there's a 24-hour breakthrough at hand dear God Almighty are you listening to me people are you agreeing with me I don't really care if you're even listening I don't care if you put the phone down on the other side of the room and you're jumping and dancing and shouting as long as you've got the spirit of breakthrough as long as you've got the spirit of I can do this as long as you've got the spirit of today is my day as long as you have got the spirit of I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and things are gonna be a whole lot better than they are today by this time tomorrow it will be as God told me those promises that have been put in a bottle capped are being loose in the name of Jesus I just saw a picture of a, of a bottle and it was all uh, capped up all uh, like corked up and it's like all these promises are in this bottle but the cork is coming out and it's like champagne it just shoots out all over the place when you open it or like a soda can like a bottle of soda when you shake that bad boy up and you take the cap off it's like an eruption I prophesy an eruption of breakthrough in your life the th it's like a pent-up demand they call it in the business world a pent-up demand for a product it means there's so many people that want these things there's so many people that want this product there's so many people that want this service there's so many people that have that want what you have to offer that when you finally begin selling it there's so much demand that you run out quickly in other words there is a demand come on we need to put a demand on the Word of God with our faith we need to put a demand 
demand on the anointing on the inside of us to rise up and break yokes we want you to put a demand on the anointing and a demand on the grace a demand on the devil we say now in the name of Jesus it is time now we're not willing to wait one more moment for what belongs to us we're not willing to wait one more moment for that which has been held up in a bottle we're not willing to wait one more moment come on somebody believe me today somebody believe the word of God today Jesus is the breaker Jesus is the breaker somebody needs to shout now so loud that it wakes your neighbor up three houses down honey somebody needs to shout now so loud that your voice gets hoarse like mine was yesterday somebody needs to shout now so loud that it breaks the sound barrier it breaks through into the barrier the, the, the realm of miracles father I thank you for the miracle working power of Jesus I thank you that our salvation itself is a miracle I thank you that you're releasing healing miracles even now I can't wait to see the testimonies of my God my God my God my God my God I thank you Lord that you're releasing uh, uh, miracles mind miracles through you people that were depressed and discouraged and beaten down and under uh, underestimated and over troubled I thank you Lord for a divine reversal in circumstances a divine turnaround with problems large and small some of you are like well I don't really need a miracle I just need a little help well praise God you got more than a little help because the Bible says that Jesus is a very present help in time of need our father is a very help a very present help in a time of need he is going to help you now you know what the present tense is it's now it's not yesterday you don't come on now you don't have to live off yesterday's manna beloved you don't have to live off tomorrow's hope only you can live off the day today 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 Jesus said don't worry about what you're gonna eat and where you're gonna sleep and what you're gonna put on don't worry about all these things I'll let the Gentiles worry about you'll have what you need now you can get what you need now you don't have to suffer there's certain things we don't have to suffer there's certain things we're not supposed to have to wait for there's certain things we're not supposed to have to worry about there's certain things that just belong to us provision belongs to us my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus there's some things you're not supposed to have to suffer through I understand there's suffering in the Christian life but we're not supposed to have to suffer from sickness we're not supposed to have to die of disease Moses didn't die of a disease Paul didn't die of a disease John the beloved didn't die of a disease hallelujah there's some things that are just not right it's not your portion you're not supposed to have to walk around in poverty that is not God's will for you beloved now I want my provision now I want my breakthrough now I want my healing now I want my promotion now I want that revelation that's gonna set me free now I want my deliverance now I want the demonstration of power in my life now I want to move in signs and wonders and miracles so other people can see that Jesus is alive now I thank you Lord now faith is I thank you Lord for the revelation of now faith not tomorrow faith not yesterday's faith not next year's faith not 10 years ago I mean now we have faith now and the now faith releases a sound that breaks through the barrier of miracles it brings down walls it causes Jesus to stop in his trap pay attention to your cry and say bring them over here I want to bless them and ask you what do you want the sound of now now faith is now faith is now faith is now faith is a substance it's sticky it attracts things to itself hallelujah faith attracts the blessings of God I'm not talking about some new agey thing I'm talking about what the Word of God says faith is a substance Hebrews 11 verse 1 Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 beloved go read it go meditate upon it go confess it it, go decree it go declare it go proclaim it go prophesy it over yourself now faith is the substance it's sticky it attracts the blessings of God by faith everything happens 
You got saved by faith. Kadabashi. Everything else you ever receive from the Lord comes through faith. Faith is what pulls down the blessings from heaven. Faith is the currency of the kingdom. Now faith is the substance of what? Of things hoped for. Hope is like a rope that you can grab onto when things get tumultuous in your life. Hope is like a rope that you can swing out of destitution and into a deliverance. Hope is a rope that causes you to, to, to just, to, to, to just grab a hold of something substantial, something, something, something that causes faith to arise. I break hopelessness off your life and I decree faith. Faith is now. Now we will see the promises come to pass in our life. Now we will see that mortgage paid off. Now we will see an entryway into that new position, into that. I'm just keep hearing promotion, 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 promotion. I can't get it out of my mind. Promotion, commo promotion, promotion. Oh, I see that, Lord. Some of you have been walking through commotion, but the Lord's wanting to bring you into a promotion. Hallelujah. Some of you have been walking through commotion, 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 drama, upset, drama, commotion upset God is wanting to promote you spiritually so that you can attain to a promotion in the natural understand and know this almost everything in your life starts in your spirit it definitely starts in God's spirit in other words there are things that God has to do in you before he can do things through you there are things he wants to do in you before he can manifest certain things for you so father we say we decree we decree 24 hour breakthroughs in Jesus name we decree it in the name of Jesus we decree it in the name of Jesus we decree 24 hour breakthroughs now, I've already gotten testimonies from Awakening House of Prayer from Sunday I'm gonna tell you I got three I'm gonna tell you what there were I got three 24 hour breakthroughs I woke up in the morning I got an email uh, from someone at a major uh, former a former executive at a, a at a major media company and said uh, this person who worked with us is uh, available to help do you know of a job I've been looking for a media person for well since I resigned from charisma I've been looking for someone to work with me that has the skills the knowledge and understanding to help me build that which God has called me to build I have prophecies from Sean Bowles and many other leading prophetic voices about a media empire media legacy yeah I do ministry but media there's there's still a mantle there's still a there's still a mission on my life for media it's one of the seven mountains it's one of the most influential mountains because media is used by every other mountain to put its message forth and yesterday I got a resume of someone that I already know that I already trust and they're looking for an opportunity that is a breakthrough I've been stymied and and set back and stressed out but tried trying to fulfill this word and the Lord said stop stressing and start believing and here comes the person I've been waiting for for the past year then what happened to, oh then I got a call from someone or a text from someone in my family who has been like incognito who's been unreachable for a while and I've been praying and pressing for this person saying you know you know they just got to break through this 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 silence this 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 running and I got a text from this person apologizing and saying hey let's 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 get together that's a breakthrough then I got a a, a, a call actually the call came in listen the call came in while I was preaching this message at awakening house of prayer about the sound of now which you can watch at ahop dot online you can watch the whole message there was a massive breakthrough I got the call on whatsapp while I was preaching obviously couldn't answer and it was a call from someone in a major television uh, studio that says we want you to put together a show give us a concept we want to put you on air which is something that Sean Bowles had prophesied as well major favor with a major TV producer three 24-hour breakthroughs three 24-hour breakthroughs three 20 and it was right to the T it was like right before the end of the second service that the last breakthrough became reality now some of these things yeah I've got to keep pushing because the breakthrough like rears its head the breakthrough shows itself 
I've not yet to hire the employee, but, but I know that I will. I've not yet to produce the TV show, but I know that I will. Because when the breakthrough pu pu pushes its head up out of the ground, that's when you don't, it's not when you stop praying. That's when you go grab it by faith and pull it all the way in. It's like Elijah. He saw the cloud, the, his servant saw a cloud the size of a man's hand. Elijah didn't stop praying. Elijah knew the breakthrough was there. He, did, he prayed in a different way. I believe he shifted his prayers. He was travailing. I believe his prayer shifted. We don't know exactly what he did after that with regard to prayer. But it's a different way you pray when, you're, when you see your breakthrough begin to manifest. It's a different way you pray. You shift from, uh, from the warfare mode to the thank you mode. You agree with God is, is showing you, look, I'm doing it. So you begin to agree with him and thank him and pull it up all the way through. A 24-hour breakthrough. I got three of them yesterday. Craziest thing. I've never seen so much breakthrough in one day. So I decree over your life a 24-hour breakthrough. Now, I'm just going to be real real with you. Some of you won't see it because you got issues in your life that you don't want to deal with. Some of you will see it even though you have issues in your life that you need to deal with because God is so merciful. Some of you, it's the issue in your life that you need breakthrough from. Agree with God. Some of you need to go back and listen to this call. All of you need to go watch this broadcast, ahop.online. I, listen, I tried to release this message on Facebook yesterday, a 20-minute message about the same thing, and the sound was not on Facebook. So nobody could hear me. The devil tr hindered that message. I, 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 I released it yesterday on purpose because we were still within the 24-hour window. But guess what? God doesn't work in timelines the way we do. God is present all the time. He inserts himself into our timeline at any time. Everything is present to him. That's why the Bible says he's a very present help in time of need. So it doesn't matter. The devil tried to rob that, tried to discourage me because I was trying to deliver this message to the people. Guess what? I'm delivering it now. God is not in, in time like we, ha like we have. So I decree over your life right now, a 24-hour breakthrough. Get your heart right. Keep your faith up. Go to ahop.online. Watch the, the first service. The AM service was a stronger teaching flow. The PM service was a stronger miracle flow. I preach the same message in both services, but they're always different. They're both really good. Go watch them. Get your faith built up. Turn off Netflix tonight when you get home and watch this instead. If you're not working today, watch them back to back and press in and pray. Release the sound of now. I decree 24 hour breakthroughs over you in the name of Jesus. And tomorrow, your daughter's cat ran out and you prayed and he came home. Amen. I'm not watching your comments. I know a lot of you that were in the, in the services already got your breakthrough. I've already received testimonies. So, Father, I decree a 24-hour breakthrough over your people. And we stand on this word, and we're going to keep breakthrough in our mouth. Lord, help set a guard over our mouth, God. And anything that doesn't sound like breakthrough, cause us just to let our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth. That we might not sully our breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm way over my prayer time. I've gone on and on and on. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity today to sow the 24-hour breakthrough seed. A 24-hour breakthrough seed. Seal the breakthrough with your seed. Let your seed declare for you. Let your seed seal your declaration. Let your seed show forth your praise in advance. Listen, if you had a million, got a million dollar seed, if you got a million dollar uh, windfall today, you, you'd have to tithe off that, right? A hundred thousand dollars. In other words, we often give God what is His before we. After we see the breakthrough today, I want you to sow a 24 hour breakthrough seed. Sow in advance of the breakthrough, praise him in advance, like the Marvin Sapp song, praise him in advance, release your seed in advance. We had a supernatural debt cancellation service a year ago. And I said, how many of you, if you got your, if you got your, your debt canceled would sow 10% of what was canceled back into the church. And I know a lot of people had their debts canceled, but only one came back with a seed. She had a $10,000 debt and she sowed a thousand dollar seed because that $10,000 debt was canceled. Sometimes we need to release the seed in advance. Sometimes 
We need to thank him in advance and not be like those nine. What was that we talked about today? The nine lepers that didn't come back and say thank you. Sometimes you need to praise him in advance like that Marvin Sapp song. Praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. This is how they sent confusion into the enemy's camp in the Bible. This is how they won the war was by praising him in advance. They didn't praise him after they won. They praised him before they went. Let your seed seal your decree today. I want to give you an opportunity to give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can sow a seed there at JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can become a partner there. Or you can sow a one-time seed, jenniferleclair.org slash give. When you become a partner, you get the free monthly resource. You can also use the PayPal, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair. You can become a partner. Oh, you can't become a partner. You have to do it on my website. But you can sow a seed there, Jennifer Leclair, uh, through the PayPal. Now, I'm already getting attacked for praying for you, but that's all right. It's worth it if you get your breakthrough. Now, now, Cash App, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. See how that? See how I'm getting attacked for praying for you? I stand in the gap for you guys every day. Why? Because I believe in you. I believe that you need somebody that can believe the best in you, that can decide, you know what? This person can make it. This person can have a deeper relationship with God. This person can have a financial breakthrough. This person can have a better relationship with their family. Father, we thank you today. You can go to P.O. Box 305. 63 Fort Lauderdale. Thank you, Prophet Deb. 30563 Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 33303. 30563 Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 33303. You can use the text to give. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. I think that was all. I think that was all. I think that was all. Was that all? Amen. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to give. I thank you for this 24-hour breakthrough seed that seals our decree in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your glory. I thank you, Lord, for your, for your integrity, that you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you mean it. And we believe you, God. We believe you. We believe you. We believe there's a sound of now that breaks the miracle barrier. It's a sound of faith. Listen, I give you all these scriptures in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, uh, see, I'm getting hit with witchcraft. I give you all these scriptures in the two messages, ahop.online. Some of you need to bolster your faith today and go back and listen to these. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you will cause your people to rise up in greater faith than they had yesterday, to understand and know that you are the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, but you are the God of today. And oftentimes we forget that you're the God of today. We think we remember what you did yesterday, and we hope you'll do something tomorrow, but you are the God of today. So I thank you, Lord, for breakthroughs today and this breakthrough seed. Multiply it back to the people in Jesus' name. I bless my Awakening Blaze prayer leaders. I bless my Ignite Network members. I bless uh, all of my staff and volunteers, all of my givers and donors. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Ahop.online. you got to write that down, www.ahop.online. Write it down. Go watch these messages. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. I can't get off it. I can't stop listening to it. It builds my faith. Praise God. God is good. I want to invite you also to become part of the Ignite Network. Ignite is a network of prophetic people. Listen, you won't believe who uh, joined Ignite uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, Alveda King joined Ignite. The uh, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King has joined my network and we had a good talk yesterday. We've known each other for many years and have worked together in different capacities. And she just said, I just need to be more prophetically connected. And I want to be more connected to you. And so she joined Ignite. Uh, she joined Ignite. Amen. She joined Ignite. So if, she's, if she sees the value in it and the opportunity uh, to, uh, to fellowship and uh, to learn and grow and to support a pure prophetic movement because that's where uh, there is a, a cost to join Ignite, but the money goes into supporting and forwarding an advanced, uh, and advancing a prophetic 
uh, movement. And so she's in support of it. Uh, if you're in the night, you will have seen uh, the, the little post yesterday, Welcome Alveda King. Some people said, is that really her? Is that the real Alveda King? Is that actually Dr. Martin Luther King's niece? Is, is, is that, or is that someone with another name? Hakeem, Dr. Hakeem Collins said, I had to do a double take. He said, I had to click the link to see, is this the real, the real, the real? The real, it is the real. And so, you know, if she sees value in that, you might want to check it out. Go to ignitenow.org. Ignitenow.org. Check it out. She joined the company of the seers and the traditional Ignite. Amen. It's a prophetic community. Amen. We're learning, growing together, standing, praying together. I want to invite you to be part of it. Go to ignitenow.org. Go to ignitenow.org. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your kind words. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go to ignitenow.org. Amen. I, wonder, I have never, not even told you except one time about my new book. It came out on uh, the 16th, which was, well, I think, one week ago, uh, maybe one week and a day ago. I'm not very good at math, but I'm a real good writer, praise God. It's called The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Marine Demons. Or, I'm sorry, Defeating Water Spirits. Some people call them marine demons. The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. Praise God. It hit number one in two categories. It's number one in spiritual warfare and number one in another category called Christian spiritual warfare. I don't know what that means. Um, somebody, everybody gave it five stars so far. One person gave it one star because they said it's not on Kindle. It's just a great book, but it's not on Kindle. So they gave it one star. I'm like, uh, okay, it, it is on Kindle, number one, and that has nothing to do with me or the content. So it's bad when people do that because it, it hurts your rankings. The better star, the more stars you have, the more reviews you have that are good, the higher it ranks and the more people that can get set free. People are contacting me saying, this reminds me of Derek Prince. I don't think, believe Derek Prince ever taught on water spirits, but he did teach on spiritual warfare. He was a real general in that uh, arena, and people are telling me this reminds them of uh, Derek Prince's teaching because of the way it's presented. Apostle John Eckhart wrote the foreword uh, to this book. I want uh, to invite you to get your copy. Go to Amazon.com and uh, pick up the spiritual. Right now it's on sale there. The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits, Overcoming Demons That Twist, Suffocate, and Attack God's Purposes for Your Life. So go get in on that. Uh, hallelujah, it's on Kindle. They've got it in hardcover, believe it or not. It's uh, interesting. I don't have a hardcover copy. I'd like to. I'm going to have to order one. And then the paperback is there for you as well. Please go get that. Get the word out. Share about it. Send pictures. Uh, uh, do me a favor. If you've got the book, take a picture of yourself with the book. Tag me in it. Amen. Send it to me and help me get the word out about this. This is one of my most important books uh, in the realm of spiritual warfare because not so many people talk about water spirits and I go over everywhere and I ask who knows about this and it's just a couple but you go down to Africa and let me tell you they know all about it uh, because it's real and we are being uh, harassed by these witchcrafts and we don't even know it we don't even see it so go get that you can also get it on my website at jenniferleclair.org right now it's on special on Amazon do whatever you need to do but get your hands on this book if you are uh, into spiritual warfare if you're not into spiritual warfare you need to get into spiritual warfare because probably why you're not uh, succeeding at the highest levels in your life um, because you're being opposed and you don't know how to fight so let me teach you hallelujah go for it in the name of Jesus what else the school of the prophetic the next is on Saturday you can join. You can watch these online. Uh, it's at schoolofthespirit.tv. I've got a new program uh, coming out in a day or two, and you'll be the first to hear about it. Remember the webinar. The free webinar is tomorrow, Wednesday. You can get in on that at tinyurl.com slash seven ways God speaks. That's the number seven, tinyurl.com slash seven ways God speaks. That's the number seven tinyurl.com slash seven ways God speaks that's the number seven you can also uh, get uh, involved in the ascend conference in Tampa some of you need to fly there if you absolutely cannot fly there you can watch it online you've got to register for that at eventbrite so that's jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com all kinds of free stuff for you to sign up for there 
the seer zone is there, uh, all kinds of stuff go there. Listen, I know it's a lot. That's why I always ask you to sign up for my email list, would you? I send out emails almost every day. Opens the, open the ones with the subject line that interest you. Uh, but I do uh, outline these things, these uh, different uh, uh, events. I give them, uh, I, I give them, I give you all the links so it's super easy for you to sign up. Amen. God is good. I don't know why all these people tag me on Facebook about something. I don't even know you. And you've got all your, you're trying to like sell your stuff through them. This is bad. This prosperity coach. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I'm all into pr prosperity, but these people got to stop. Oh, look, Brenda Webb, thank you for, it's trending on Google. Brenda Webb says, uh, the, the, uh, the Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits is trending on Google. That's amazing. Hallelujah. That's amazing. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, go get your copy of the book. Get what, what uh, block ministry. Who do we need to block? All right, bless you, Facebook. I'll see you later on today. Hopefully the sound will work.